Okay, I'm going to teach you how to make a couple of different types of tessellation. So first we're going to have Word 2007 open, and we're going to start by creating a um, place in which to draw. So you're going to go to Insert, go to Shapes, and select New Drawing Canvas. And I'm going to make mine a little bigger so we have some room to, to work with. Um, first is, is, is a simpler type of tessellation, and so we will insert a shape, and let's use the hexagon. And now you're just going to put your mouse down, drag, and drop until it's in the shape that you want. So I like this shape, and because it's symmetrical, um, it will all fit together nicely. So what we're going to do is copy this, and I'm just going to paste it a bunch of times. Okay, so now I'm going to make them fit together nicely. And there you have your tessellation. So now we want to make it colored so we can differentiate um, the hexagons. So we'll start by, let's say, we'll make this purple. And then we'll make every single other one purple. And then we'll make this blue. And there you go. So now we'll make a second tessellation. I'm going to insert a new drawing canvas. And this one's a little bit more complicated, we're going to draw it from scratch. So we're going to use this tool over here, which is Freeform. And I'm going to put my mouse down. And then I'm going to make a line, make another line, make another line. And then I'm just going to press Enter so it stops. So now I want to copy this and paste it over here. Oops. We can delete this one down here. Okay. So now these two sides are equal, so that they'll they'll all match together. So now we're gonna do another free form and we're gonna create two more lines. Um, oops. Let me back up. Okay, and press enter to make it stop. And I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it. And it should match perfectly since the sides are equal, which it does. So now in order to copy this and make it, um, oops, so we can make it, we can make multiples of it, we have to use the freeform tool again to actually cut it out. So in order to do this, come up here and, and click the freeform button. And then now you're just going to kind of trace. So you'll Hit the mouse once, hit the mouse again, again, until you've gone all the way around the shape. It's really important to be exact because otherwise the shapes won't match up. Okay, so now we can copy this and paste it a bunch of times. And let's see how well they match up. Well, pretty well. Mm -hmm. Oops. This one won't move. I forgot to press enter. Okay. Perfect, and so now we'll give each of these a different color. So let's do green, and so I'll also make every other one green. And then these over here we'll make red. And the way I did that, selected them all at once, is by selecting one, holding down the control key, and then selecting the other ones I want to select. And that is how you make a tessellation.